Hello and welcome to the third lecture in the Google Apps Script series. In this lecture we are going to see how we can use Google Clasp and Visual Studio Code to write app script on your local computer and how you can push and pull the code into the Google Apps Script Editor from your local computer using Clasp. For this lecture we need to have some prerequisites the first one being Node.js so if you don't have Node.js installed on the system just go to Node.js.org download the latest Node.js for your operating system and install it on your computer the second thing that we'll be needing is a Visual Studio Code so it's a famous code editor uh, Visual Studio Code so you can just go ahead and download Visual Studio Code and install it on your machine and finally we're going to need an app script project that you can work with so as usual I have created a folder on my com on my Google Drive called lecture 3 inside that I have created a Google Sheet which is open right here there is nothing in this script and in this sheet right now let me go to tools and click on script editor and now I'm going to simply just write a log and now I'm going to select the function click on execute and once we execute the function obviously we'll have the output over here execution has started hello world printed to the output and now I will show you something uh, as well here called legacy editor right this is uh, the uh, of the editor and uh, there is some survey which has come up I don't want to and this is the legacy editor and we can always go to the new editor so the thing is if you go to the legacy editor if you go to file and project properties you will see the script ID and this is the crucial part in when we want to work with the clasp so first thing is I hope you have installed node.js on your system and once you have installed node.js on your computer if you write node.js version I can see that uh, I have node.js version 12 then just search for Google clasp go to github google slash clasp and just copy and paste and install so basically this is going to install google clasp globally on your computer and let's give it two minutes for the google clasp to get installed and now I have Google Clasp installed on the computer as well now I have decided to create a folder on my desktop and I want to work inside this folder so just write CMD over here and here I'm going to say code dot when I say code dot it is going to open the Visual Studio code directly into this particular folder which is on my other screen I'm just going to pull it here and there is nothing in this folder right now we can go to view and click on show terminal and it is going to bring up the Visual Studio terminal over here and I have already installed when we log into clasp for the very first time we 
have clasp installed so we have to say clasp login and uh, authorize class by visiting this URL so control click on this copy the URL and open it in your browser so let me just open that you might have to go through some uh, sign in and verification process and after that we should be logged into clasp so the message on the browser says logged in and uh, you may close this page right so that means we have logged into clasp over here screen and we'll say clasp clone and we go back to the project copy the script ID paste it it says project file already exists so let me just delete that and up arrow will give you the same command again so it's complaining that the file already exists I'm going to delete that file sometimes we'll face these problems there are more options like you can force clone a project and other things that you can go through the documentation yourself and uh, you can look more into that so as we can see here it's cloning the files basically it is pulling the files from this server to my local computer and the cloning has completed and we have three files here we have the time zone and other things and here we have the function so if we look at the function over here right and this one the code is identical now if I make some changes over here then I can say class pull latest and as you can see here these the changes I have made have come to my local system and suppose I want to push this change over here then I make my change to the code and I save my code and I can say let me clear it for you so that you can see it better clash push the moment I do that the code is going to get pushed from the local computer to the server I have identified an error over here which you might also come across sometimes so it says user has not enabled the app script API so this particular link we have to go copy this go to the browser and we just have to turn it on for the app script for this this will we have to do only for the first time and we will try to push the code once more
using clash push and here I have made some changes pushed two files and I'm just going to refresh the browser I'll try it later and we can see the stars appear over there so this is the way we can work between we can work faster on the local computer we can write code really fast and we can push it over here later on in the next projects you'll see when we have we work with HTML templates it's really easy to work with Visual Studio code in that case and we can easily work with the clasp so this is where the clasp becomes really useful and uh, I mostly use it all the time as you become more and more expert in app script I'm sure you'll be starting to use clasp more that's it for this lecture in this lecture we had introduction of clasp node.js and how to work with app script thank you so much for watching the video and see you in the next one bye